Atlas, Uncle Sam's intercontinental ballistic missile ready to be fired downrange from Cape Canaveral by the Air Force. The 120-ton missile will ignite its cluster of rocket engines for launching. They'll burn for six and a half minutes, even longer than the Atlas which achieved orbit. And as this news breaks, from Moscow comes Khrushchev's statement that Russia has ICBMs in mass production. President Eisenhower tells Americans to be proud of their own missile's progress. The U.S. expects to have its first Atlas in combat position by June 30th. And now, news of the day takes you to plants turning out intermediate-range ballistic missiles. The Army's Jupiter, built along assembly line methods near Detroit, but at the rate of only perhaps a couple of dozen a year. Painstaking, exacting, there are 300,000 parts to 16,000 for an automobile. And next, wraps lifted from the Thor IRBM, a companion weapon to Jupiter. At Santa Monica, California, newsmen and our cameras are for the first time permitted personally to report on the production facilities for this missile. The Air Force Thor was born of military urgency, delivered for test firing in record time of nine and a half months. Time from drawing board to deployment was 30 months. Now it's been shipped to American forces and the United Kingdom. And so it is that Thor, Jupiter, and others back up the President's words. Our missile system is going forward as rapidly as possible under the guidance of the finest scientists that we can accumulate.